Evening. Evening ER Shredders, just checking in uh, for an update. Couple things, so first of all, my shirt is dedicated to Colin Greenlaw. On the back of my shirt is a cow riding a surfboard. It's pretty cool. Um, but anyway, uh, just wanted to say last week on Bob's call, one of the cool things that happened was we announced the Patrick Principle. And that was dedicated to uh, Patrick Greenlaw, who is Colin Greenlaw's uncle, Peter Greenlaw's brother. Um, he was a CNN news uh, anchor and just the coolest guy ever. And we wanted to do something special for him because he, he did have an impact on all of us on the business side. So when it comes to sharing the shred, he taught some really valuable things that stuck with me and we wanted to honor him for that. So I hope you guys all caught that. If not, go back to the YouTube channel and watch um, because I, it was touching, it was moving, it was beautiful. Um, what else? We kicked off a brand new, oh, hi there. Hi, Mimi. We kicked off a brand new uh, shred on Monday, um, which is today. So it's the shake that someone said today, uh, shake and bacon, <laughs> shake and bacon day. But Steak and Shake Day today, and uh, I hope that all of you that are on this December 6th shred, I hope you will all come on the calls this week. So Jesse, uh, well obviously Jesse and Heather did a launch call last night. Thank you so much for that. Everybody go watch that if you haven't. Um, and then we'll do, tomorrow night is Jesse Shred Your Body call in the group, uh, 5 p.m. Pacific time. And then Wednesday night is our Come Alive call. So new testimonials, new updates. Um, if anybody would like to participate, let me know. And then Thursday night will be, again, the uh, Un Shredders Unite call, which is all about sharing the shred forward. And we're going to get our own pack, which is going to be really exciting. Isogenics is going to give us our own pack to where we can just, we just enroll people and we don't have to build those custom packs and you just... It's just turnkey, plug and play. It'll be really helpful for, for all of us because the way we've been doing it is like digging a ditch with a shovel. And the way we'll be able to do it will be, you know, like having a big backhoe. It'll be fun and it'll be easy. Um, what else? Anything else? Those of you, before I announce our new Heart of ER Shred Award winner, those of you, hi Chris, um, who are starting on your first ER shred, or those of you who you've been on lots of them, um, I just want to share with you that, for one, it's doable. And I'm going to talk a little bit more about that in a second. Not yet, Mimi, not a name yet. Uh, we made some suggestions. We made the suggestions, well, anyway, I'll, we'll talk about it later. But a couple things. So I'm 18 months into this lifestyle. And overall, it's been the greatest gift ever for me. Like, I have gained so much control. I have so much discipline and willpower, born of experience, born of satiation, knowledge. Um, it's, a, it's a gift. It's truly a gift. I haven't got things dialed in perfectly. Why? Because, like, for instance, you'll go a great length of time feeling optimal. And you'll think, this is the best. Like, I wouldn't trade this for the world. And no, I won't go back to the stuff that was harming me and hurting me. But, like, for me this last week, I tried, I introduced a new yogurt. It's a whole yogurt. What I've learned with my body about yogurt, for instance, is that I can do a little bit of whole yogurt, but only about a half a cup. If I do more than that, it, it does have a tendency to constipate me. Um, which isn't fun. I don't want to be constipated. So I just have to listen to my body and learn my body. So I don't eat more than half a cup and I do great on it. And I feel great. It's like a treat for me. But I introduced a, a new brand of yogurt and gave that a try. And something in that just my system did not like whatever that was. Now, I don't know what that could be from. I don't know why that is, but... I do know my body now, and uh, for probably three days now, I've been paying a price, believe it or not, for yogurt that I ate. 
um, I'm actually going to return it to the store. That's that's because I'm like this is not this is not good for me. Like I don't know what's in this. I don't know what I don't know if it's spoiled. I don't know what. But but the bottom line is it reintroduced to me personally what it's like. What's up, Brad? Hey, Warren, Kathy, love you guys. It reintroduced for me, it was like going back to my old self and realizing all over again what it's like when your stomach is always doing those gurgles and your stomach is like the gas just keeps revisiting. And I, I won't go into too much graphic detail, but you know, I've been on and off the toilet a lot the last three days. It, that is not fun. That's no way to live. It's, it's, uh, it's miserable. And yet that used to be my normal before discovering ER shred and, you know, putting those, those practices and mechanisms into my life. I was always like that. Like it was always just a recurring thing for me. The gastrointestinal issues, the gas, the bloat, the distended abdomen and fighting, fighting food reactions. And so it's like I always say, like one ingredient, like a sugar alcohol, just one, it literally sends me reeling for days. And this is not an exaggeration. What's up, Bonnie? This is not an exaggeration. I'm not. And, and so for people to say, well, that's you just have this overly sensitive system. Like, I used to think that. I used to think that, oh, pro probably I have a really overly sensitive system. I don't believe that anymore. Now what I believe is that my system speaks to me. And if something does that to me, it's not issues with me. It's it's that that thing, that food, that, that ingredient is not fit for human consumption. And if you were to say, well, why doesn't it do it to everybody? Just because another individual is not in tune with their body enough to the point where things affect them as much doesn't mean that it's good for them. Like there are people who can drink a cup of coffee and then they go to sleep. <laughs> that doesn't mean a cup of coffee is healthy and it's not. Um, so with all of that in mind, I just want you to guys to know that, you know, even at 18 months, you can have a period or, or an episode where you feel like Ah, crap, I don't feel optimal right now. Freak, this sucks. Like, I just want to feel optimal. And what's up, Susan? Um, and so with that in mind, it's like I have to take a step back and slow down and say, I'm not arrived. I'm not perfect. I haven't figured this thing out altogether. But by and large, I, I do live an optimal life. And by and large, I do feel my best. At this moment in time, I don't feel my best. At this moment in time, right now, I'm probably only a seven or an eight, and I'm very pissed off about that because I've been as high as a nine or 10 for a very, very, very long time, except for when I got COVID, and that was a different thing altogether. But overall, that's what I'm talking about. So I'm just asking you to be patient with the process. Now, those of you that are starting out, I need you to take it. Just take it serious. Just take it dead serious because why? Because you're sick of feeling the way you're feeling all the time. And because you may you may not even realize what great energy looks like anymore. You may not even realize what joy and enthusiasm and fun looks like anymore. You might not even know what it looks like anymore to be physically active. You may not even know what it looks like anymore to go outside and be outside and have fun in nature. You may not even know what it looks like anymore to go a single day without that device. Just constantly, all day, every day, beckoning you. All these notifications. You're imprisoned by it. You're held hostage by it. So what I'm saying is be open to the possibility that there is more for you. There is. I'm telling you right now, you're on to something. You are freaking on to something. Now, continue on that path. And is it going to be easy in the beginning? No, it's not going to be easy. So my question would be, 
How committed are you? How committed are you to seeing this thing through? How committed are you to giving it a fair shot? Because this is not some gimmick. This is not some fad thing. This is a journey of failure for you to learn about your own body. Hold on, buddy! With all that said, um, I know that our, that our new Heart of ER Shred Award winner would agree. And this award is in the, uh, it's named in honor of Mimi Terrell. Thank you, Mimi, we love you. And this award is very special to all of us and the board together, we decide who is the Heart of ER Shred and you know, so this person was nominated, this person was elected, an award winner. Very grateful for you. He brings a lot of knowledge. He brings a lot of passion. Um, he brings a lot of fun and common sense as well. And that is Brent Hoover. Brent, thank you for all of your massive contributions. And just know that we value you so much. And we think, we think you're awesome. We just think you're cool vibes. Uh, you get it. So please keep bringing it. All right, you guys. We'll see you this week on the calls. Bye-bye. Oh, Nicole's on. Rick's on. Rick, I, all my people are on here. I can't leave. Oh, I can't leave. Patricia's on. Everybody's on here. All right, you guys. Have a great one. And shred on, shredheads.